On today's episode of Watch Chair Go, I got scammed again. And this one is relevant to all of you guys, so you can watch out for it. Um, but it's not about a car, this one was about headphones. Really expensive headphones. What is going on guys? I am Watch Chair Go, and today I am here to tell you about the craziest scam and why you probably shouldn't shop on Mercari, and uh, one where you need to be careful no matter what website you're shopping on. You can get caught in this scam at any time, and it is really, really hard to get your money back. So a lot of you guys have probably been wondering where I've been. Uh, I haven't been dropping daily videos for a few weeks now because I've been very busy. And that's because I decided it was time to finish my pilot's license. A lot of you guys kept asking what was going on. Uh, obviously, we made a bunch of aircraft videos a while back when I was flying quite a bit before I bought the building. And then I sold the building and I was like, you know what? It's time to finish this thing. So I've been flying. And when you're flying, of course, you have to have a headset for radio communication. Now, if I'm being honest, you can really use any headset when you're flying. There's $30 like hearing protection headsets that have a microphone stuck on them and that'll probably get it done. But you know the average price for you know an aircraft headset, 150, 200, $300, somewhere in there. That gets you kind of a nice headset, but there's one headset that is the industry standard. And that of course is the Bose A20. It's kind of what I'm used to flying with and I got to the flying school and they were like, just grab one of these headsets. And then I went out the first time and I was like, I can't hear anything. I can't hear the radio calls. You know, there's not enough isolation. You're in a single engine piston plane and it's so loud, but that's not really the point here. The headphones aren't quite the point of the story, but I had to have Bose A20s. Now, $1,200 for headphones is crazy expensive, but as you guys know, if you just put airplane in the title of whatever you want, you can just double it, triple it, quadruple it. They'll pay it. Pilots, come on. So, especially if it's like, you know, something the FAA has to certify, no, just octuple the price. It's insane. So, they are expensive, but they are also very worth it. They work incredibly well. So, I bought a set. And I'm gonna show those to you guys now. I bought them on Mercari. And some people are like, well, did the seller have any feedback? You know, the usual thing you check when you're buying on eBay. Um, on Mercari, I was like, they've got the big buyer protection box just right here. I'm good to go. Even if they scam me, you know, even if this isn't really a good deal, this is gonna work out because I'll get my money back. Now, the thing about this listing is Bose A20s are very expensive. They're the best ones and they're very expensive like $1,200 plus tax usually. So you're really in these headsets to, you know, to own a pair. And I saw this set pop up for $465 and I was like, that's it, I'll buy that right now. Buyer Protection's got my back if anything goes wrong and uh, we'll just wait for it to show up. And of course, the first thing I did was scroll down and see that the seller had no feedback. The seller's name was Barbara. And as far as I'm concerned, that Barbara is a Karen. No offense to you other Barbaras out there, but this Karen, sold me these Bose A20s for less than half price with Bluetooth, the good A20. And I was like, this, this should be great. They're gonna be here on Thursday. I'm flying on Thursday. It's gonna be awesome. So I waited the three days or whatever for them to ship. It was a uh, USPS priority mail, as most things are when you're buying from uh, you know consumer to consumer like that on these marketplaces. And I'm just sitting there waiting, checking the mailbox every like 15 minutes and it's saying out for delivery. And then the mail came. So I went out to the mailbox and I checked and guess what? There were no Bose A20s in the mailbox. So I was like, well, I guess it's just coming on another truck. Sometimes the post office runs around with like one truck doing, you know, uh, parcel delivery and one truck delivering all the mail that will go in the mailbox. And I figured I'd just keep waiting because it still said it was out for delivery even after the mail came and nothing happened. And I keep checking like every 15 minutes cause I'm trying to leave. I need to go get on this plane so we can go get some hours in and still no headset. And then I open my phone and I'm like, oh, they just came. Run out to the mailbox. Guess what? No A20s. So I checked all my neighbor's mailboxes here. Well, we're, we're all friends. It was cool. And a lot of times I get the mail one house over and I go take them their mail, they get my mail. And then sometimes my mail goes over here. You know, it's just like one off. I don't know how it just happens. And then there's another address here in town. That's basically my exact address, same house number and everything. And they mix that one up too. So I went over, checked that one because we've talked many times and figured that out. No A20s. And then I went and che I checked everything. There's another house that kind of lines up with my address too. And a lot of people end up there when they're coming to my house. Still, 
no headset to be found. So I went straight to the post office. I pull up in the post office as fast as I can. I've got 30 minutes left before I need to be at the flight school here. And I'm like, hey, what is going on with this delivery? It's supposed to be coming to my house and it's nowhere to be found. So they pull up the tracking number. I've got it on my phone. I'll actually, I'll show you guys this on screen. I know it has my city in it, but honestly, everyone kind of knows where I live. Uh, please don't show up in my house or do anything ridiculous with this. Uh, but it does have the city that I live in. It's like a suburb of Wichita. Everyone knows we're all in Wichita, all of us car YouTubers. Anyway, I live just outside of it. So I go in there and I'm like, here's the tracking number. Why does it say delivered when it didn't come to my house? And they were like, oh, well, we'll look into it. They took down my number and they took the receipt. I get a phone call 45 seconds later. I made it out of the door into my car and my cell phone starts ringing. And they said, hey, were you just here at the post office? I'm like, I literally just walked out. I'm still in the parking lot. This is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what like how do you know in like three seconds and they're like yeah uh, I pulled up the tracking number and it was meant to go to the city but it was never meant to go to your house so this is where things get crazy uh, they said it's a common PayPal scam file with PayPal they'll send your money back everything will work out so I opened a case with PayPal and wouldn't you know it like six seven hours later and I have to go flying right after I open the case with PayPal Go get on the plane. I have to, I've got a set of A10s now too that I bought used in between while I was waiting. And uh, the A10s obviously don't work nearly as well as the A20s, but they do work. So I used my A10s that day. Get back home, open my email, and there's a denial letter saying that I'm not getting my money back. Like six hours later. That is insane. And I'm like, oh, come on. So what happened with this denial letter is Mercari, and I'm gonna pretty much, um, I can't blame this all on them. Obviously, they're just a marketplace that facilitates the transaction. They don't like create the scam, but they definitely fought hard to make sure that I didn't get my money back because there was like a response from Mercari to the PayPal case where they attached that tracking number and PayPal did what they were gonna do. They closed the case immediately and said that I wasn't going to get my money back. So I'm like, oh, come on, this is terrible. I posted about it on Twitter. Feel free to go read the thread where we figured out all of this. So a lot of sleuthing went into figuring this whole thing out. And huge thank you to Tech Out. I'm gonna link his channel uh, in here below. Let me look at the thread real quick, make sure that I, okay, I can. Uh, I'm gonna link his YouTube channel because he actually experienced this too and had all the details figured out as soon as I posted about it. So the post office knew, uh, lots of other people have had this happen to them. Anyway, watch out for this scam. And I don't think there's even any way to prevent it. Just you have to rely on buyer protection. But I do have a couple tips for you that might help. Anyway, back to this. Um, I posted about it and I said Mercari just stole $500 from me because they definitely, it became Mercari's fault when they denied my claim immediately. But anyway, they sent the tracking number over to PayPal and PayPal closed the claim, like I said. And Mercari sent me an email saying like, do this again and your account will be banned. Please ban my account, Mercari. I really couldn't care less. I'm never using your website again after this because your buyer protection is a joke. Anyway, um, we figured all this out. And basically what happens is the seller takes, you know, uh, an, an in-demand item. Like A20s are very in-demand. Every pilot wants a set of them. This was actually listed on like 30 websites too. Tech Out found a whole bunch of the same listing of the ones that I bought, the same picture and everything spread across a bunch of different marketplace websites as well, which is like 20 of them, which is insane. It was just the same picture. They're running the same scam on a whole bunch of people. Anyway, uh, what they do is they find a tracking number that's going to your city. And the post office explained this as well. And they said, we don't even know how this is being done, but it's happening. And like this one said, it was going to my city and it gets delivered the same day it was supposed to get delivered as my package. But we think what they do is get the tracking number. They like pay for the label. What's that cost them? $4 or something like that to pay for a USPS label on Mercari's website or, or eBay's shipping setup, whatever it is. And then they Photoshop the addresses off of that label. And then they put on a, an address that's adjacent to yours in the same city and they ship out some junk, like note cards, something like that. Just like a pack of three by five note cards, something that costs them a dollar. So they're $5 in all together on this scam and they ship something to your city. It's got a valid tracking number that looks like it's going to you and they paid for it using you know, the shipping app that said it was definitely going to you. Anyway, after all that happens, all of the marketplaces consider you to have actually received the item. It hasn't disappeared, it wasn't stolen, they don't care about that anyway. 
if you ever run into that, like if a package gets stolen off your porch, they won't help you. There's like no proof. Uh, it, I just, it seems like you're always dead in the water on that one. But they ship something to a random address, boom, they have a delivery confirmation and it looks like they did their job. And you know, the way that buyer protection would definitely work for you is if you got an item, say that I ordered A20s and then those note cards showed up in my house and I took a picture of the tracking number and what was in the box, fixed. They would take care of that. But since I had nothing to show them and there is no proof of any of this, you're just out. You're completely out the money. Nothing you can do about it. So anyway, Tech Out told me that he was able to get his money back, which was another like five, six hundred dollars. It seems like that's what they usually try to do. Uh, something in that value. They're taking five dollars and they're turning it into five hundred dollars over and over and over. It cost them nothing except running this scam. But he went to the post office and he got a letter from them stating that that tracking number was never going to his address. And the post office won't disclose where it was going. Privacy issues, obviously. But they did the same thing for me. I went back the next day. I got a letter. It's actually in my truck. A signed letter from the post office saying this tracking number was never meant to go to this house, although we successfully delivered it to the correct house. So that worked. I called PayPal. PayPal has humans. Uh, nothing against them. I, they really kind of did what they had to do in this situation. But I called them. Five minutes later, you know, I had a person on the phone. We talked through it. I explained the whole situation. An hour later, I had my money back. I sent them the letter too, obviously. I had to send that in. Um, but I have a ton of other proof of this. I'm going to show you guys right now. Here is some video of the entire time period where the mail came at like 1030 in the morning. So here's the mail truck pulling up, you know, first mailbox over here, my mailbox. It's a one minute process. You see the truck, it's 1030 in the morning or something like that. And then it was supposed to be delivered at 1230. And I'll show you guys from like 1225 really fast all the way to like 1235. There is no mail truck anywhere to be seen. So that also, that was more of my proof that I'd save for them to prove that the post office was never here at that time frame. And of course, I will show you guys the letter. We'll Photoshop out some stuff here. But signed letter from the post office saying that this never showed up at my house. I got my money back. So hopefully you guys don't have to deal with this. Hopefully, uh, if you do get caught in the same deal, you can go to the post office, get the letter, uh, and send that to PayPal or maybe Mercari. I doubt they help you, but PayPal will definitely help you. And some people have said, why didn't you just run a chargeback on it? The thing is, if you run a chargeback and you use PayPal, then PayPal will probably ban your account because you're stealing their money back without any like due process of them having like a report of it. And they close a lot of accounts for that. Um, and the reason that I didn't do a chargeback, because I would have, I was pretty upset at this point. Uh, I use my PayPal balance. So when PayPal is the bank, there's no chargeback. You have to win with them. So that's one of the reasons that it went through such a lengthy process and I couldn't just say, give me my money back. Uh, yeah. So what you can do is it seems like all of these packages come from New Jersey or New York. I think mostly all New Jersey though. So here's the tracking. You can see the entire list here from the post office. Show you guys that on screen right now. It came from New Jersey all the way here to Kansas and it did not come to my house, but that's where they come from. They're gonna use a common in-demand item. The seller will have probably zero feedback because they are getting their accounts banned, I would assume. I'm sure if Mercari is any good, they will go back and find Barbara slash Karen and ban that account immediately. Who knows? They might just let someone else buy the same item again. So. I wanted to make this video so you guys could be aware of the scam. Uh, it's very popular. It's becoming more popular by the day and it's really hard to fight. It's, that's the best part of it is that they do ship an item and it does look legit. So, you know, it seems like they might get to keep the money. If they get to keep the money 20% of the time, they're doing really well, <laughs> obviously. Like they're still making insane money even if a lot of it gets clawed back by Mercari, PayPal, eBay, whoever it is. Because I, obviously when this happened to tech out, it happened on eBay. I'll keep using eBay forever uh, and I'll keep using PayPal forever. Nothing against them, but I am done with Mercari after that because they should not have tried to fight the claim. They should have reached out and tried to do more research. So watch out for this scam. Hopefully you guys have seen all the evidence. I posted a ton of stuff on screen, um, but of course, Amazon, good old Amazon. They never let you down. They have A20s and they ship out fast. So. At the end of the day, I have A20s that I paid full price for. <laughs> I even had a way to get a discount on them still, but I couldn't wait because I should have my pilot's license by like the end of the month. So what's the point of doing all your training on a bad headset when you can just relax and get the work done? So it all worked out in the end. I did pay 
almost triple $1,200 instead of $465, you know. But uh, hey, I got the A20s. Uh, don't get scammed. And I'm just happy PayPal took care of me and I got my money back. Anyway, it all worked out for me after doing quite a bit of legwork. Trying to save you guys this legwork. Watch out. Be careful out there. Don't fall for these scams. Uh, it's nothing like, a, you know, a car that was super cheap that no one had a title or keys for. This one, there's a good chance you'll just lose your money. Anyway, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchjerogo.com for cool shirts, not like this. And please, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. Okay, Truffles, come here. Come on, come on. You can stand up now. What?